love you, moms and dads. Are you ready? It's time for a workout. For our first workout today, go ahead and sit on the floor and get your toddler. It's time for a diaper change. You see, when toddlers reach a certain age, they don't want to have their diaper change. So what you might have to do is get on your hands and knees like this and kind of wrestle with them a bit. They might squirm, they might try to get away, but you have to keep fighting it. I've never wrestled before, but I've done this and I think it's the same thing. Now, if you don't have a toddler at home that you can wrestle with to get a diaper on, you could grab your dog and cat and try to put a diaper on them too. I think it gives the same kind of a workout experience. Our next workout is called swing squats. You are going to place your child in a swing and then while you swing them, you will do squats. Now any kind of swing should do the trick. Here we go. Swing squat. Swing squat. Swing squat. Now, if you are not good at squatting, you can also point your toes outward and do plies, which is a ballerina thing. Plie squat. I mean, plie swing. There we go. Plie swing. Plie swing. There you go. Our next workout. The more children you have, the better. If you don't have a lot of kids, you can borrow some from your friends. Take the children to a playground. It's best if you see a sticker on the playground equipment that says for ages 5 to 12 and the children are younger than that. They will then hopefully all run off in separate directions and start climbing on things that they're really not good at climbing on. That is then your opportunity to chase after them and stop them all before they hurt themselves. Now, if you don't have the time to go to a park, but you still want to get a good workout in, all you have to do is open your front door, let the children out, and then chase after them before they get run over by a car. Follow me for more workouts.